Hello everybody and welcome to another vlog. Welcome to another week. I am so excited. Thought I would touch you guys. <laughs> no, there will be no touching. I thought I would catch you guys up on what's going on before we head out. So I'm getting ready right now. It's Sunday. Sunday is usually Lyle and I's day to get out there and have an adventure, take the dog somewhere. We are going to one of the islands here in Washington and it's called Vashon Island and we're taking a ferry. It's a very short ferry ride so you basically leave Point, Def Point Defiance Park which is one of the United States largest city parks actually next to Central Park. It's gigantic. It's a huge park. There's a lot to do. There's a zoo in it but we are going to be taking the ferry out of Point Defiance to um, the Vashon Island and it's about a 15 minute ride which isn't very long but just enough to hopefully catch some orcas, I'm hoping. I saw on Metro Park's Instagram yesterday that there was a pod swimming around that area, so I doubt they'll still be there. I don't know. I don't know if they're like just doing circles. <laughs> we are going to go to a little farm out there that has a country store and a pick-your-own berries and veggies garden. So I just wanted to pop on and tell you guys what the plan is today. It looks like Lyle's back so I'm gonna shut up but I'm really excited. It's gonna be a really fun day. I'll see you guys on the ferry. What are we doing guys? <coughs> Tina, can you speak into the mic? What are you doing? Marvin? Why are we so, why are we so grumbly? Getting on ferries are always a little scary, aren't they? We're getting on the Chetsir Mungo Mocha. Chetsir Maka Maka Mocha. <laughs> right next to the door. Do I need to pull all the way up? Mm-hmm. You don't block, you, what, you can't block the door? No, people can get it. Look at, Sienna just blocked this door. Away. What a bitch. <laughs> We got all these motorcycle guys behind us. <laughs> cool. We're gonna go up to the wall to front. We're already leaving. This is moving fast. <laughs> Whoa, my stuff's going Bad choice of outfit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Said there was a bunch of bikers behind us. Do you know who was behind us when we got on the um, Outlook and the wind blew and it literally blew my whole skirt up. All of those bikers were behind and the guy just went like this. <laughs> He's like uh and the lady went Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I was like hardly. <laughs> oh god that was hilarious. We got a 13 minute drive. Uh oh someone's seatbelt isn't on. We're going on an adventure! Look at how cute it is! O-M-G! This place is so cute! Oh, I'm so excited! Little bird garden! Hey, you're gonna get to walk around the corner there? Oh my gosh. 
God, he's really scared. Oh, they're freaking out. I don't want them to like hurt themselves. Where is the tomatoes? Where are we supposed to be going? Vashon Village. This is the Vashon Brewery and we were gonna go sit on the patio, get a little lunch. Did you guys have fun at the farm? It was so cool. They had freaking zucchini and I wasn't expecting that. So I got tomatoes and zucchini. The raspberries and the blueberries were pretty thick through so I didn't even bother. And it was hot and the dogs were hot and so I just figured it was like best to just kind of wrap it up so picked tomatoes picked some zucchini or not I keep saying zucchini it was yellow squash um, that place is so cute but yeah we want some lunch we're hungry and this place is supposed to be pretty bomb it has sandwiches and stuff hopefully the patio is pet friendly and there's a wine store across the way from here so <laughs> I definitely want to stop and get some wine but yeah we're stopping for beer and lunch that is the plan. Okay. <laughs> Location number two. We are, look at this pair. We wanted to try a second restaurant, so we split the sandwich at the first one. We got a Cubano, and then we're at another brewery where I believe that Lyle will get, he'll get um, a beer to go. I just got two bottles of wine, and we're gonna get more food. <laughs> because I didn't know we were going to two different pubs. I thought we'd be like mostly outside and then like one restaurant. <laughs> we've been to two places, now we're stuck at the gas station. I got yelled at, well I didn't get yelled at, but I got corrected at the last place because <sighs> I forgot to put my mask on to go to the bathroom. And I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just like, I know that we have to do it because it's for the safety of everyone. And I, I get it, so I'm not complaining about wearing masks, but like, if you're PMSing and you're trying to have a good day, and then you got a like million other things going on, the dogs, for instance, have kind of like started to get a little bit rambunctious. Um, Vinny barks at everything. People are trying to like enjoy their patio social distance beers, and our dogs are like rah, 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 the whole time. Anyway, I'm not saying I'm not having a good time. I'm having a great time. I can't wait to show you guys what we got. We both got stuff at the store. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to just a walk on the beach. So that's what we're gonna go do next. <laughs> you gotta get the wiggies out. Because <laughs> you're out of control. You, sir, are out of control. Look at him. You know he's excited when his tongue is hanging a little bit to the left. <laughs> Ha <laughs> 
new shirt he got at the country store. It's so cool. Dope kind of dude. It's really nice. Except it's there's twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. But it's like really quality. The clothes there were really quality. They had like Patagonia and like and then your shoes. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> what are they called? Bogs? My bog. You got your bog. Waterproof. Slip on shoes. Fuck around. My box. <laughs> Can I leave that in? <laughs> Gonna go home and make some food with our fresh veggies. Oh, here's our ferry. Our day is over already. There's a lot more we could have done. That's a team. I feel like there's so much we could have gotten done, but I'm just glad we're getting home at a decent hour. It's four. Hello, and welcome to the follow up portion of this video, which is showing you guys what I got. I had so much fun yesterday. Like, so much fun. <laughs> I want to go out to Vashon every freaking weekend and just drive around the island and I love being on ferries. I love like the ride on the water and just the nostalgia of like being on the ocean in a boat and going to a different place making you feel like you got away. I don't know. It's just really nice. And that country store was beyond my expectations of what it looked like online. Um, the store was huge. It was so cute. The people were so friendly. You can tell it was like a mom and a daughter. We just had such a good time. So anyway, I wanna show you guys what we got at the farm and then what we got in their um, gift shop and then a couple other little details. So first of all, let's just talk about what we picked. I did not know that yellow squash was gonna be on the menu. So I was really surprised when we walked by and I saw these giant leaves and I was like, what's in there? Um. Yellow. Big yellow squash. The big yellow one? Yeah. Whatever that means. <laughs> yep. What's it? What is that poking through? And then I realized it was gigantic squash. And they're just so like yellow and vibrant and I bet they taste delicious. And the fact that I picked them myself is a feeling I can't describe unless you do it yourself. If you're into this kind of thing and love the idea of being, um, just like the self-sustainable idea and relying on yourself to feed yourself. I just, I, I, one day I hope to have a garden with vegetables and chickens and like a little bit more property so that I can have my own little mini farm. Um, nothing crazy big, but definitely enough to be able to have veggies and fruits and all of that stuff. So I hope that I can get that sooner than later. I don't wanna have to wait till I retire to have that. But we also got a bunch of tomatoes. I made a huge caprese salad last night, so this is about half of what we had. Mm. Mm. But boy, are they so tasty. Mm. Mm. Yum. I did caprese basil from my garden, so I have fresh basil growing off of my plant in the back. It's getting huge and bushy. I was like, oh my gosh, for the first time, I feel like I have an abundance of basil rather than the tiny plants where I'm like barely picking the leaves off because I don't want to take up the whole plant. Now I've got just this big of a basil. And so I can just like pick freely because it's growing and growing. So vibrant. Rosemary is taking a little bit longer, but I have rosemary, basil, and sage growing in the backyard but I did that with the mozzarella and then a rosé balsamic and it was delicious um, so in the store Lyle actually got all excited and shopped he bought some as, as you guys saw some rain boots and then he got a new shirt so he went shopping <laughs> I was like surprised he just like grabbed stuff and was like I'm gonna buy this I'm, like get it and he was really into the gardening part too so I'm so glad that he's on board because this is something that I would like to do more often. And I think he'll be down now that he kind of knows what the experience is going to be like. And I think it really sold him on um, going when I told him there were many breweries out there for him to have some IPAs. And I like IPA too, so we were able to like go out there and have a couple beers. Just so you know, I only had two over the whole day. So I wasn't drinking and driving. I just want to make sure that's very clear. Just had to say that little PSA. But look at this dress. <gasps> look at it. Does it have pockets? It better have pockets. I'm gonna say, there's no farmer's girl dress that's not gonna have pockets. Um, they, these sweatpants I have on don't have pockets and it makes me angry at them. Like, why would you not just put in a pocket? 
It says, I am a delicate and special garment. Please handle me gently. Avoid sharp objects. Slight variations in detail design may occur as hand techniques were used to make me. This is called, the brand is called Lazy Bones. So it's hand stitched. Oh, I love stuff like that. I just think this would be a cute transition into autumn type dress because it's lightweight enough that you can wear it as the temperature cools but definitely when it's like still hot out like it has been this i would cook in this so i'm excited to wear it when i'm more into the idea of a long sleeve the original retail of it was 68 and i got it for 30 percent off so i wonder why it's on sale um but yeah cute brand made in india designed in australia I just really like that. It's a cute, cute dress. This is the place that we went to. It's called the Country Store and Farm, in case anybody was wondering if you live in the Pacific Northwest and you're wanting to go somewhere fun and get on a ferry and have a little day trip. It costs like 25 bucks for a round trip ticket from Tacoma, Point Defiance. Um, and then Seattle also has a port. It takes a little bit longer on the ferry, but they both connect to Vashon Island. But it actually made me realize I have friends in Seattle that I've been wanting to visit, but I hate I-5. What if we just both took a ferry to Vashon and spent the day on Vashon and then both returned to our own parts of the, t the city? I just think that would be such a fun way to meet friends um, that are in Seattle. It's like, let's meet in Vashon. We'll go have a beer, we'll catch up, and then we'll have lunch and then we'll all head back <laughs> to our own town because it takes me about 10 minutes to get to the ferry from where I live. It's like 10 minutes to the ferry, 15 minutes on the ferry, and then 15 minutes to get to that downtown area. So it's like, and it's all fun and really pretty. So it's a, a nice adventure. I think it, it worked out to being $12 both ways with tax. There we go. There we go. But yeah, definitely highly recommend it if you live in the area. And I got some smoked hatch salsa. I really wanted to do this video and show you guys this so that I can open and start eating this. Salsa doesn't last in this house. We open up a can of salsa and Lyle can pretty much drink it like soup. But it's um, a smoked over a wood fire barbecue joint, vegan approved, gluten free, heat level three salsa. Anyways. If you uh, put a salsa on a shelf, I will buy it. It's a $10 jar of salsa though. A little bit on the inside of the night, so I'm gonna make sure that Lyle knows not to put that down too fast. I also got sweet onion mustard. This is from Walla Walla, Washington. Funny name, but it is a place here. <laughs> sweet onion mustard with dill. I kinda wanna open this. Walla Walla sweet onions of Southeast Washington are famous around the world for this, their distinct flavor. This mustard is a way for you to enjoy these mild sweet onions year-round. Use on sandwiches, pretzel dip, stir in potato salad, or deviled eggs. Mm. I'm gonna do that, that sounds really good. Yes, so I'm excited about that. That was only five bucks, so not as bad. And then I just got all into dips. <laughs> I was like shopping the dip section. Um, healthy Gourmet Kitchen Cucumber Dill Dip with Seasoning Blend. So this was only a few bucks. I thought it would be worth it's like pre-mixed herbs that you can toss into like sour cream or yogurt, um, even mayonnaise it says. Uh, I would probably go more with the yogurt or the sour cream idea. Even the yogurt wouldn't be as, like if you can do something kind of Greek with like cucumber and tomato, ooh and the tomatoes that we have, we could do like a Greek salad with it. That would be delicious. So I had to get it. I always like to just grab chocolate from local places to see if I like it. Um, well, I know I'm gonna like it, but I like to support local um, chocolate makers. And it's not local, it's from Denver. Hey, I love Denver. I've got friends who live there. <laughs> I'll support Denver too. Hammond's Finest Seaside Caramel Milk Chocolates. I wonder what made them decide to sell this in their store. I'm just curious like how they curated. The, I will say that country store was really nicely put together. Like whoever decided to open up a country store on a farm like that was like brilliant because it was a kind of fancy store. Like it had a whole upstairs area. It had a nicely put together shoe section and like clothing. It was just, it was better than Cracker Barrel's like shopping section almost, which everybody knows Cracker Barrel is famous for their gift shop. And then I got this. This is the last thing I got from there. And this is the Toasted Caramel Simple Syrup uh, from Pink House Alchemy. 
And this I had to have, look at this giant jar, because I've been looking for a syrup to put in my cappuccinos. Um, I was gonna make my own simple syrup and then I saw this and I went, oh my gosh, I can support a brand, a small business and try their toasted caramel simple syrup, 16 ounces. So this will last me a lifetime. Cute, cute label, love it, giant bottle. This is expensive, this is $16. I went a little nuts. I don't regret it. <laughs> and I tried it in my cappuccino this morning and it was so good. It's not too sweet if you put just a dash in because um, I definitely don't want to do like a super sugary cappuccino. I just like a hint of flavor. So that's why I love the idea of this because it's like doing a um, vanilla syrup or something like that. Because at first I was just doing a dash of vanilla extract with um, some sugar. And that's how I was doing my cappuccinos for that punch of flavor and this is like having that but both in one. Oh, FedEx is here. <laughs> and finally I went to the wine shop in Vashon. I couldn't help myself. I saw it and I was like pew <laughs> beeline straight for it. Um, I asked her what dry rosé she had, something that's not too sweet, and she suggested this one called Kind Stranger from Columbia Valley, so that's um, from Washington, and vented and bottled by Kind Stranger, Mottawa, Washington. Um, Columbia Valley or Mottawa, or is that the same place? Anyway, I loved the, the bottle. I just thought it had a cool design to it. I think this was like 10 bucks for this bottle of wine, which isn't bad, or 12 bucks, which any bottle of wine under 15, I think is a pretty like fairly priced, um, moderately priced range that I typically shop in. And I, for special occasions, will spend over that. And I just wanted to get this. Um, it's imported, it's a French rosé, and I just decided I wanted to start collecting rosé, or just white wine in general, not really red wine, but maybe I will. Maybe I'll just start collecting wine in general. Um, I just want to have a really nice collection of wine. So when I have someone over and there's a reason to celebrate, I can like crack one open and just like make the moment feel more um, celebratory. It has a glass top, which her, the lady that worked there and I were both talking about how nice it would be to figure out a craft to do with these tops because it seems like such a waste to throw away such decorative bottles. So I probably actually will hang on to this and try to think of something I can do with it. But it's just such a beautiful bottle. It's called Chateau Lariga, Côte de Rosely, Côte de Rosillon, Côte de Rosillon. <laughs> no, Sienna, stop. Oh, this is actually 70% Syrah and 30% Grenache. So anyway, these are going on the wine shelf, but uh, yeah, that's it. Anyway, I'm gonna finish playing my video game. I've been playing the Ghost of Tsushima and I'm in a really cool part and uh, possibly get some new armor. I'm pumped on that. So I'm gonna go do that and put this stuff away. And finally, I can open up that salsa. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We had a lot of fun. Thank you so much for popping in. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a little glass of wine and let me know that you made it all the way to the end. I did that at like back in the day and you guys actually would leave the emojis and I stopped um, requesting that. So I really want to know who makes it all the way to the end of my videos. Know who's still watching. <laughs> so just leave a little like wine emoji so I know that you made it to this part. And make sure you have my notifications turned on if you want to know every time I upload. And uh, yeah, more adventures to be had. I'll see you guys on the next video, whatever it is. Bye-bye.